This is a cool story. Yeah. A robot controlled by brain waves helping people learn to walk again. It sounds like science fiction. Yeah, it kind of does. But it's the newest tool at Brooks Rehab to help people with spinal cord injuries. And it's the first of its kind anywhere in the entire country, and it's right here. And our Juliet Dreyer shows us the impact it's already having on people right here on the First Coast. This is the hybrid assistive limb. It helps people with spinal cord injuries learn to walk again. You can see the movement right there, but instead of using movement like this with their arm, they're using brain waves. With slow but steady steps, Maverick Moody strides toward his goal, something so many of us take for granted. The ability to walk. July 3rd, 2015, I went on an ATV ride and had a wreck. I uh, dislocated and crushed my T11 vertebrae. It was almost too much for Moody, now just 26 years old, to comprehend at the time. It's absolutely devastating. Your life, as you know, it's pretty much seems like it's over. But now, hope. Moody is among the first to use the hybrid assistive limb at Brooks Rehab and in the United States. Closest thing back to walking normally and independently on my own that I've experienced since I began this journey. The robot, known as HAL, is controlled by using signals from a person's brain. The robot then perceives that signal and is able to carry out um, a person's intended movements. The goal? Build up enough strength so a person no longer needs the exoskeleton. Over time, um, a person's able to generate more of their, their impulses through their signals that are building, and the robot gives less and less. This video is from Moody's first session just three weeks ago. Good job, Maverick. He says he's already seen improvement from his stamina to core strength to even respiratory improvements. For now, it's one step at a time. It gives you hope again. One foot in front of the other toward a limitless future. Can't say when, but I'll get there one day. Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.